Hey guys, Richard here. So in this video, I want to show you how to set up email automation in GetResponse. Now, this is a very, very powerful thing to do if you use email marketing in your business because it allows you to set up many, many different types of campaigns very, very easily by using the functionality within GetResponse. So what I'm going to do in this particular video is go through a funnel that I recently set up that was promoting a webinar. I'm going to take you through the funnel itself. I'll give you an automation overview and show you an existing automation and walk you through that. Then I'm going to show you how to actually set up the autoresponder. Then I'm going to show you how to actually build the automation step by step. So guys, just before we start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to the channel before, please go ahead and hit subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I release videos. And if you're interested in building a long-term sustainable business online, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads and I'll take you through the whole process step by step. So guys, this is a funnel that I recently used on a promotion for a webinar. So the way this works is that I have a series of folks already on my list and I start sending them emails five to seven days before the webinar. So what I do is I set up an automation that allows me to send out certain emails at certain times before that webinar and also allows me to send out more emails to anybody who hasn't actually opened the first email. So it's a very, very powerful thing to do. And what we have here is emails that actually drive people towards a hype video with the details of the webinar. If they go ahead and click that, they go over to the registration page, then they go to the webinar, and then they purchase an offer at the end of the webinar if they're interested. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how I set up this piece here in GetResponse itself. So here we are over on GetResponse, and you'll see this is the actual automation that I did for that promotion I just showed you. So essentially, if I just show you the first round of emails, what's happening here is I set it off by actually sending them out an initial promotion email. Then I wait for one day and I send out my first promotional email, which is 1-1. One -one. Once I send that out, I ask the system whether that email has actually been opened. And if it has been opened, I wait for one day. If it hasn't been opened, I resend a message, which is very similar to the first one, but with a different title to all the folks that haven't actually opened email. They then go ahead and join this queue for waiting one day and then they get sent a second promotional email and then it repeats. Now what I'm gonna do is actually show you how this is set up within the automation of get response. Now the first thing we need to do in this case is create a list where the folks would be that actually go ahead and receive this automation. So my overall assumption is you're already using get response, but if you're not using get response, you come up here and you press lists and you go ahead and you create a list. Now this is the list that you would use to gather the folks who are opting in via your pages within get response. So I'm just going to create a list, get response automation. And that will be the list that I use to start off my automation. So anyone who joins this list will go through the automation that I'm actually going to create for you. So once we have that list, we need to have emails in the system. Now you need to create these emails and put them into your draft folders to start with before we start bringing them into the automation. So you would come over to drafts and you would create a newsletter here and basically you would go ahead and input all of the emails that you want to go ahead and send as part of this automation. Now I've already got some in here and these are my ATB September promotion ones. Now I have 10 of these in here already for this particular automation and the way that I've actually numbered these is quite critical. Now, the reason I do this is because I actually resend the same email with a different headline as part of the automation. Now that's because many, many people will read an email or miss an email because they're very busy. So you want to send the same email out to them to give them the same sort of information. But if you give it a slightly different headline, it helps in a couple of ways. One, they don't think they're being spammed by having the same headline come through all the time. And then the second thing is maybe the first headline might not have grabbed them. So you can change that headline up a little bit to see if you can grab their attention. So the idea is you would come along here and you would actually number these in a certain sequence. So you understand where they're going to be in the automation. So mine happened to be one bracket one, one bracket two, 
two bracket one, two bracket two, three bracket one, three bracket two, and so on, so that I can see where they're supposed to be within the automation. And it helps an absolute ton when you're building the automation out. So your emails are already drafted, they're already in here under your drafts. The next stage is to actually start building your automation. So you come up to the menu, you just go to automations, and then you create a workflow. Now, once you've created that workflow, all you need to do is start from scratch. There's a load of templates here, but you want to start from scratch and then you go ahead and give it a name. So this automation name is completely up to you. Again, I'm going to call it get response automation, just so I can remember which one this is. And then we want to be able to start the process. Now you start the process in a number of ways. You can have somebody actually start this automation once they subscribe, if they click a link, if they open a message, have a special occasion, updates a custom field that you've got, is sent a message, updates consent status and so on. And if they're tagged in a certain way, they can start this automation. What I tend to do is one of two things, either if they subscribe to a list or whether they're sent a specific message. It depends what type of promotion I'm actually running. Now in this case, I'm just gonna say subscribe to a list because I'm, because I'm gonna have them subscribe to that list that I actually created just then. So you see the very first step here, I might just increase that size slightly. The very first step here is subscribe to any list via any method. So on the right hand side here, there's a number of things. Now these are the different elements that you're gonna drag across and actually build the automation with. So the first one is basic elements, which are things like the subscribe and the message open that you saw on the previous screen, including the tagging it took, and including some e-commerce functionality here that we, you would use if you were using email marketing on an e-commerce site. Now the second thing is the basic actions which are things like send message, move to a list, copy to a list. These are the ones with the actual basic conditions up here that you're gonna to use to actually build out this particular automation. So the first thing we want to do if they subscribe to any list via any method is I wanna send them a message. So I just drag this across and what happens is when you drag these across into the main frame here, which is where you're actually building the automation, Whenever you click on it, on the right hand side, all of your options will open up. So the properties of this particular message will open up. Now, what it's asking is, is what message do you actually want to send? So you come across here and there's some drop down boxes here. Now, basically, these are the various folders that you have emails in within GetResponse. Now, I've got the draft folder that I have my emails in. So I'm gonna actually go to draft and I'm gonna go find my first message, which in this case was one bracket one. So if I go ahead and find that, you'll see here that that is now my next message to send. And it gives you a little bit of preview there of your message. So you can see that that's the correct message. So the way that you attach these is just by dragging from there to there. And you'll see this line appear, And that's the way that you actually drag this. And you can pull this about everywhere. What happens is you tend to get a lot on this screen after a while. So you need to kind of bunch things up a little bit so you can see as much as possible. So that's your first message. Now, the first thing I want to know is, has anybody actually go ahead and open that? So you have this basic condition here called message opened. Now, if you drag that across, you'll need to tell it exactly what message you want it to monitor. So again, click on it, come across here, go into your actual automation emails now because you've actually dragged this one, it's become an automation email. And then you go ahead and find a specific one. And then you can go ahead and find that particular automation email. So you see here, September promotion 1-1, one -one, and again, September promotion 1-1. One -one. Make sure they're attached, and that now becomes the first step. Now, depending on whether it's opened, I wanna do one of two things. If it is opened, I want to wait for one day. So again, if I come down here, there is a wait function here. I just drag this across, and I can actually set this to wait for whatever amount of time is suitable for my particular promotion. And you do that, again, by clicking on it, coming over to properties and there's various ways that you can actually set the time. So this is on wait for, you can have wait until, you can have wait until a specific date or time. If I click on these, all of these various options will open up and I can just set it depending on how long I actually wanna wait. Again, for a very specific day here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all different options here once you click on this wait function. But I'm happy with the day. 
and that's if people actually open email. Now, if they don't open email, I want to send a second email. So I need to come over to Elements, and I need to actually select a second email to send. So I obviously need to tell it what email to send. So if I go ahead and select, come again down to my drafts, I'm gonna find one bracket two. There you go, one bracket two is there. So that's now gonna send one bracket two. Now, if I click back onto this one here when opened, you've also got a specific time that you can go ahead and resend a message if this one hasn't been opened. So what happens is you can come along and change this time. Now I don't want that set to a day. I want that set to something like five or six hours. So if I take this off, what will happen is five hours later, this will go ahead and send this message. So once it's sent, obviously I want them to come back down into this particular part of the automation and they'll go ahead and they'll wait for the rest of the time until it's time to send the next message. So this is the first sequence. Now what really is going to happen now is I'm going to repeat this sequence over for all of my emails. So what I need to do is if I just come down here and I actually go ahead and send a second message, which is my message two. Again, click on it, go over to your drafts, find that message. Message two, that's one. And again, if I come over here, I want to know whether that's actually been opened. So I come down here and actually say, has the message been opened? And attach them. Tell it exactly which message they want to see has been opened. And if that message has been opened, I want to wait for one day. Again, come over to my wait. You see here, that's wait for one day down there. If it hasn't opened, I want to go ahead and send another message. I come across here again, attach these, come down, select another message to send, which is 2-2, two -two, and then you'll see that that's the same sequence, really, just repeated and what I'm going to do now is actually do the same thing for the rest of these messages so that you can see the full automation and then I'll talk you through it so I've gone ahead and actually done the rest of the automation now so let me talk you through it and I'll show you how I do the last piece of the automation which is actually the launch date emails now if I go back to my slides you can see what I've actually done is actually built these emails out so I've got four of the hype emails with resends actually built in automation. And then what I wanna do is finish it off with these two launch emails, which are really done on the day of the actual webinar to tell people to go ahead and register because the webinar is gonna be on that day. So I'm gonna finish off my automation with these two emails. So as I come from the top, they, were, they join the actual list. They go ahead and they get this first email sent to them, which is actually this hype email here. And then the resend is actually this one here. So that's the first one, number one and number one, that's the resend. And after a day, they get sent number two. And if they don't open it, they get sent number two dash two. So what that is, is this one here and this one here. Then after a day, they get sent number three, three bracket one and then three bracket two, which is hype mail three. And this is the unopened, so this is three bracket two and then the last one they're going to go and get sent this hype email four which is four bracket one and then four bracket two which is this unopened so you'll see here that i wait for one day they get sent for one if it's not opened they go ahead and they get sent four bracket two now what i'm going to do now is actually build these two emails so i want to now wait for a very specific time before I go ahead and register, because this essentially is the day before the webinar. Now, what I wanna do is send this twice on the day of the actual webinar. So this is 4-2. Now, what I wanna do is I actually wanna send out the first of my launch date emails, which are actually these emails here. Now, I need to tell at a specific time to send these out, because I want them to be sent out before the webinar, which is actually at 4 p.m. Eastern. Now, that for me, that's around about 9 p.m. So I'm doing this in GMT, so I need to send two emails out before 9 p.m. Now the first one is this one here, which is actually 5-1, and the second one 
is this one here which is actually 5-2. So the first thing I need to do is tell the system to wait for a certain amount of time. So what I'm going to do here is select a specific time that I want to go ahead and send this message. So if I come over to properties, all I need to do is actually select wait until a specific day and time. Come down and actually tell it what time to send it. So in this case, I want to send one out at around about 1 p.m. because the actual webinar is at 9 p.m. my time. So if I send one out about 1, then that gives me enough time to send another one out before the webinar. So we'll say OK there. This is going to go out actually early. And then I actually want to send a message out. So I'll tell it to send a message. And come down here. This gets a lot quicker as you do them more often. Click on here, go ahead and find the message you actually want to send. That's five bracket one. And then again, I want it to wait a certain amount of time before I'm sending another one, but I want it to be a specific time till it gets sent. So go ahead and wait again. Make sure they're attached. I click on this. I come over, I come to wait for a specific time, and then I tell it I want the next one to go out a bit later. So if I tell it, if I say around about 8 p.m., it gives them an hour before it actually due to start. And then I go ahead and send out my message, which is really just a message that says, hey, the webinar is just about to start. You've still got time to register if you're interested. So go ahead and hit the draft, go find my message, which is 5-2, apply that. What happens with that message is if I've used this message in a previous list, it'll just give me a warning that this was used in a previous list as well. If you're doing this for the first time, you probably won't see that message at all. Now, again, it's gonna send that second message and then I wanna finish the automation off. Now I wanna finish this automation off by tagging people and I wanna say, that these folks have all been through this automation. So again, I add an element here, I wanna add a tag. So I just come down to here and I actually tag somebody. What this means is that in the system then, you'll see against their name, this tag. So you'll be able to see what kind of automations they've been through. So again, I can assign a tag here. In this case, I'm actually gonna make one new. So I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna assign a create a tag here. So you just go ahead and name it. I'm just going to call this get response auto and put something like finish on it. And then you'll know that anybody who has that tag has been through this entire automation and is now at this stage. So just kind of an overview of what we've done here. This is the first email that I've sent. Then you go ahead and wait for one day. Once you wait for one day, you send out the first promotional email. You go ahead and give the system an action depending on whether that email is actually opened. Again, if they open that, they go ahead into this next phase. If they don't open that, then they go ahead and get that second email. If I just skip down to the bottom here, we do that over four occasions. And then right at the end, once you send that second promotional email, you actually tell it to wait for a very specific time. Once it's gone ahead and waited, you send it a message which is one of your last launch day messages in this case. Then you ask it to wait for another specific time, send your second launch day email, and then you go ahead and finish. And that is really how you go ahead and create these types of automations. Now you can see by these elements, there's lots of other things that you can do to build out these automations. But I would tell you, try and keep them as simple as possible, because what happens is, the more complicated you make them, the more chance that something will break within the automation. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you find that valuable. If you've got get response, then you'll be able to follow along and actually build your automations. If you haven't, you'll see a link in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out. It is one of my favorite autoresponders because it gives you this type of automation functionality included. So it's very, very good and makes my life a lot easier. So my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to our channel before, please go ahead and hit subscribe and notification bell. And guys, if you're interested in building a long-term sustainable business online, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads and I'll take you through the whole process step-by-step. -step. Until next time, guys, take care.